Hey everybody, how are you? I'm Alexander Young. I'm with Young Forever Fitness and Nutrition Coach. This is a stretching and elongation video. One of the things that I want everybody to know is that to get total body exercise, to get total body fitness, you should add some kind of flexibility or elongation workout in your regular workout program. The one thing that this is going to do is increase flexibility and also increase circulation. Better circulation, better flexibility, more power in the work move that you're going to be doing. So the things you're going to need is a towel and an exercise chair. I use the chair because it's going to help me get more stability and it's going to help you get more stability. So we're going to begin in a few seconds. First round, we're going to be doing some things with out the towel, then we're going to add the towel, and then we're going to go back to chair and do these various workouts. What I encourage you to do is watch the video first. Once you've got it in your mind what to do, then you can jump right in it. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to get my timer all set up, and then we're going to begin. Make sure you get all your stuff. Take a few seconds, grab all your stuff, pause if you need to, and then jump right back in. Okay, like all good stretches, we start out to the bottom and we inhale up. And we exhale down, good job, let's do it again. Inhale up, and exhale down, let's inhale up. Now I'm waist, I got my feet just a little wider, turn the toes into that neutral position, back down, inhale up, and exhale down, do it again. Inhale up, and exhale down, good, do it again, inhale up. And exhale up now. Inhale up, bring it back a little bit and down. Good job, good job. Bring it back and collapse the hands and push back. Take yourself, go back and come up, collapse those hands. Good. Up and come back. Let's do it again. Go back up and come right back down. Do it again. Reach up, give me that extension and bring it right back. Let's do it again. Take it all the way up and bring it right back. Let's do it again. Take it up. And bring it back down one more time. Good job. Now take the arms up and down, up and down. Now, this is what I like to refer to as an active stretch, okay? It's not stagnant, okay? So up, back, and good. Go up and back, and up and back. Go up and down. Reach up, roll through the hips, good. Reach the arms back, through the hips, arms back, through the hips. Arms back, through the hips, arms back, through the hips, arm back, through the hips, arms back, and drop it down. We go up, drop it down, take it up, bring it back, down, take it up and down. I want to increase your breathing as we do this. Reach it up and down, up and down, up, back down, take it up, back down. Take it up, bring it back down. Take it up, back down. Take it up, back down. Four, three, two, and one. Right arm up, good, and bring it forward. Left arm, and step back, and rotate to that right side. Step down, rotate, bring it back. Extend, bring it back, and extend. Nice, step forward, rotate to that right. Bring it down, rotate to the left and bring it down, rotate to the right, and bring it down, rotate to the left. Give me that nice stretch. Forward, back, forward, and increase the range of motion every time we step up and back. Do it again, do it again. Forward, back, good, and switch. Right, and left side, let's do it again. Right, and left, do it again. Right, and left, do it again. Right, push off, and left, push off. One more right, and one more left. Good job, and side, up, up, and down. Stretch, and down. Now, these are more movement. We do movement in our stretch. Now, remember, active and dynamic, going down and up. Reach out and bring it in. Stretch out and bring it in. Go out, bring it in. Take it out, bring it in. Take it out, bring it in. Take it out and bring it in. Open the arms and bring it back down. Open, bring it down. Open, bring it down 
and open. Push out wide. We stretch, bring it back. We stretch, bring it back. We stretch, bring it back. And we stretch, bring it back. We stretch, bring it back. And we stretch, bring it back. We stretch, bring it back. Open wide. Good job. Excellent. Hands up, down, up. Now, this is a good morning. And up, forward, and back. Go. Extend those hips. Slight bend. Up and back. Go. Forward and back. Stretch out and bring it back up. Roll the shoulder. Down, up, and down, and up. Take it down, and up. Take it down, and up. Go. Down, and up. Press down. And up, push those hips flat and up, extend, reach forward and back, go. Forward, bring it back, take it forward, bring it back and take it forward, bring it back and one more round, guys, and then we're gonna add that towel. Bring it back, press forward, bring it back, up, bring it back. Four more times for me, here we go. Four, bring it up, here's three, bring it up, here's two, Bring it up. Here's one. Great job. Shake it out. Okay. Let's grab that towel. Now, there's going to be a stagnant or non-move, an isometric contraction on those arms. And we go up and down. Reach up. There's a little bit more difference. Going at that range of motion. Good. Take it up and bring it back down. Reach it up and down. Hold that belly in and brace it back. Good. Good. Exit everything below the waist. I want to give me a little squeeze for my glutes as we move our upper body. So squeeze your buttocks a little bit. Good. Pull your belly in now. Reach back and up. Go up and back. Up, back down. Up, back down. Take it up, back down. Up, back down. Take it up, back down. Take it up, back down. Up back down, up, back down, four, three, two, now add that squat, up, down, up, and drive through the legs, nice, good job, take it down, and good, and we're getting a nice and taut, good, take it up, bring it back down, take it up, bring it back, and back down, take it up, and bring it back down, up, and bring it back down, up, bring it back down, and up, take it down, bring it up and take it down and bring it up, back down, bring it up, sit down, bring it back up, sit down, bring it back up, sit down, bring it back up, down, lift up, press down and up again, go down and up, sit it down, bring it up, sit it down, bring it up. Sit it down, pull it back, four more. Here's four, here's three, here's two, and here's one down. Take four with the right, turn, and bring it back down. Step, turn, bring it back. 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 Step. Turn, bring it back. Step, turn, and bring it back. Good. Step, turn, and bring it back. Good. Lift it up. Turn, bring it back. Good. Get nice, strong. Up, turn. Great job. A little different with the towel. Look at your stability. Always think about your core. Think about how your shoulders are feeling while you're doing this. Good. Take it up. Rotate. Good. Nice. Up. Rotate, good, excellent. Notice I'm staying forward and not rotating my neck or chin. Give me one more right side. Good, up, good. Looking at me, look at me. Back down, up, and rotate, good. Nice and wide and forward, go. Reach it up, down, pull it up, and add that pull, and bring it up. Rotate, little spinal twist, and up. Reach it side, and up. Take it side and up. Take it side. Pull it up. Let's do it again. Side. Bring it up. Side. And roll it back. Good. 
Side and roll it back. Do it again. Side and roll it back. Let's do it again. Side and roll it back. Side and roll it back. Good. I'm going to add a couple more towel movements. You should feel it really in the shoulders. Roll it back and take side and pull it back. And side. Flexibility is everything. Circulation is everything. Good. Up. Here we go. And we go down, up. Good. Turn and up. Down and up and lunge and up. Down and up. Lunge and up. Turn and up. Down and up. Turn and up and lunge. Back to the squat. Down and up. Turn and up, lunge, down and up, good, bring it up, turn, up, turn, up, down, up, lunge, up, down, up, and turn. One more set, down, up, lunge, up, and turn, going to the other side, other side. Down, up, turn, up, turn. Back to your squat, back to your squat. Squat, up, lunge, and up, and down, and up. Back to your squat, squat, up, lunge, and up, lateral, and up. Squat again, squat, slow it down, up. Lunge and up, lateral and up. Squat and up, lunge and up. Lateral and up. Squat and up, lunge and up. Lateral and up. Squat and up, lunge. Last time and lunge back up good job bring that towel down fold it in half we're gonna go now to our chair i'm gonna turn my chair sideways what i want you to do is have your chair in a position where you can see really good now according to my side i have my right leg facing you you can have your right or left leg facing me this as long as you know we're going to be doing both sides take that towel Fold it in half. Now, what we're going to do is get into a pike position. That means our gluteus is up as high as I can, our butt up high. And we're just going to do some heel release or calf stretches. Now, sit back. Give me that nice long lift. Press it long now. Heel up and up. Drive it up and up. Take it up and up. Take it up and up. Go up and up. Take it up. Yes, I'm moving my chair so I can have some space for what I'm going to do next. Up, up, and switch, and switch. Roll, take it up, and up, push. Up, get those hips up, head between the arm. Up, and up, switch. Up, this will feel good, good. Stretch that. Sure we plant as we lift, good. And we plant, and we lift. And we plant and we lift. From here, we're going to go to, we're at a pike position. From the pike position, we're going to go to a plank. It'll be pike, which we're in now, and plank. This good. Go. Up and up. Up, up. Up and up. Up and up. Heel roll. Up. Pick up the pace. We go. Up, down. Up, heel down. Up, down, heel up, down. Keep the body up long. Get your body through the head and up, down. Pick up the pace. Come on. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Four, in three, in two, and one. Pike and plank. Pike and plank. And look, it's almost like a downward dog, that pike. Good. Press up. And down, drop those hips and push right back in. Give me some good spine manipulation. Drop all the way down and come up. I want you to feel it in your hamstring when you go down to that pike or what we're looking at is a downward dog. 
The reason I'm doing it in the chair is that we have a lot more flexibility in this inclined position. Plus, it's safer on us as we do this position. Down and bring it up. Down and push those hips in. Push all the way down. Push those hips in. Press all the way down. Push those hips in. Press all the way down. One more. Now, one, good. Hold for a second here. Now, hold for a second here, nice and long. And we're going to leg that leg up. We're gonna crunch in and press out. Crunch in and reach out long. Crunch in and reach out long. Crunch in and extend that leg. In, round, and now flat. Round, and now flatten the body, round and flatten the body, round it and push out long. Give me a nice round spine and push out long. Round that spine and push in. Give me that nice little crunch and extend long. Breathe out and breathe in. And inhale for lengthen, exhale for shortening. Inhale for lengthening, exhale for shortening. Inhale, we're gonna do the same movement on the other side, inhale and press out, bring it in, press out, one more, good, take the other one, out nice and long, plank out nice, now round it, and extend, getting that shoulder into a stagnant, we're keeping those shoulders locked in alignment, and stretch, bend, good, tuck in, knee tuck, to a full extension, knee tuck, Full extension. If your leg feels like it's going to drop, bring it down a little lower. Tuck in and press all the way out. Tuck in and press all the way out. Tuck in and press all the way out. Tuck in and push 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 out. Tuck in. Nice and long. Round that back with the knee in. Extend long. Round that back with the knee and extend long. Round that back and extend long. Round that back. Give me one more one and reach all the way out. Come back up, nice and tall. Shake it out. Now I'm gonna take the chair. I'm gonna bring it to the side. Move it in a position where we're gonna do nice, even flow lunges. I'm gonna restart my timer. We've got a few minutes left. We've been doing this for over 15 minutes. I'm gonna hit that reset. Gonna put that right in there. Good. I'm gonna take this in outside leg, leg on the outside. I'm gonna position myself up just a tiny bit more so I don't hit some things behind me. Good job, we're gonna go. Out, up, out, and up, out, and up, out, and up, out. Now it should look like this stretch and in, but we're keeping it grounded, guys. We're going along, long and back, stretch, long and back. Long and back, stretch it long and back, stretch it long and back, take it long and back, do it again, long and back, long and back, stretch it long and back, extend, breathe and bring it in, long and back, press it long and back, long and back, reach it long. Now see how good the chair is to help us stand up tall, reach out, up tall, reach out, up tall, four, three, two, and one. Now take that leg back, good. And give me that nice lunge, push that quadricep, extend now. We're gonna go over and down. Reach over and down. Reach over and down. Come up and press down. Over and down. Over, very active, good. Over, pull the belly in, over and back. Over and back, over and back. Now, if this is too much on the knee, keep the legs still and just do the arm. Over and back, keep that quad loaded. Good, go. Over and down, over and down, over and down, over and down. Take it over and down, over and bring it down, over and down. Take it over and back down. Take it over and back down. Take it over and sit down. Four, three, two, and one. Now, reach back, bring that foot in. Good. Come back up and hold. Pull yourself up tight. Get it in. 
Good job and hold. Good stretch of that quad. This is our stat static hold. Good job. There's no movement. Try to get that heel in the back. Now you'll notice again on this side, I have just a greater amount of flexibility. When we come from that movement, we want to stretch right down there, holding onto the chair, pulling our shoulder blades back, sucking our belly in. And now let's lift this up a little bit. Now that we have that stationary nap position, let's lift up a little bit. Hold onto that chair. Good. Now let's bring it back just a little bit more. And I'm gonna put my hand to the bottom of the chair right here and hold that extension, pull that back. Good, you wanna find a place that's comfortable. If you're up here like this, this is good, good. Cross this leg right up in the front, extend it down. Now drop it down, sit back, and I want you to lift it up. I want you to drop it down and I need you to lift it up. Drop it down, sit that butt back and lift it up, drop it down. Sit that butt back and lift it up. Drop it down and lift it up. Drop it down. Now, does the lift need to be high? No. We want to sit down straight. Good. We want to bend the opposite leg. Don't sit it all the way back and come up for that lift. Sit it all the way back and come up for that lift. Sit it all the way back and come up for that lift. Good. Push all the way down and come up for that lift. Now, let's reach out and pull in let's reach out and pull in let's reach out now we're going to hold it down for about 30 seconds and up good sit it back and reach up remember to bend the opposite leg one more let's go down and we're going to hold this for 30 seconds have it here push all the way back that 30 seconds stagnate stagnant stretch will allow you to open up right back in here. Good. We still have about 15 seconds left. Good job. Toe up. We have about 10 seconds left. In four, in three, in two, in one. Good. And come back up. Now I did the right side. I'm now going to do the left side. So I'm going to turn my chair around. You turn your chair around for that left side. Now, you're going to be on the side like this with that left leg lead. I'm going to be on the side with my left leg lead. Good job. Now in four, in three, in two, one. Stretch back and up, back and up, back and up, back. And this is not my left side. That's my right side. Sorry. You have to, I'm going to be back and up. Take it back and up. Take it back and up. Take it back and up, take it back and up, take it back and up again. Take it back on your opposite leg, take it back and up, take it back and up, take it back and up, take it back and up. I keep switching sides, it's okay, keep going, guys. Take it back and up, take it back and up again, take it back and up. I was on the wrong side. If you switch legs, you did right. I didn't switch legs. And up, back, and up, go. Back, and up, back. Four more. Here's four, bring it back. Here's three, bring it back. Here's two, one more time. Here's one, and bring it back. Sit down, over, and down. Take it up, bring it down. Take it up and bring it down. Now I'm on the right side. I was on the wrong side going my second leg. I was doing my first leg over again. Down and up. I remember why, because this leg has the bad knee. And one of the things I want to encourage everybody is if you have bad knees, sore back, stuff like this, this can help alleviate some tension down there, stress. Also, remember what I said, circulation. We need to get the blood flowing in those damaged areas. Good job. Areas usually are ligaments and joints. And remember, guys, they're non-vascular like muscle. But fresh blood, fresh oxygenated blood going into damaged areas really helps out good. Take it down and over, down and over, down and over, four, three, two, and one. Now watch the slight difference in this side. I don't know if you can notice that I don't have as much flexibility in this side because I have a lot of swelling in this knee. Um, I have a meniscus issue, but I'm working and going to be doing treatment every day. And then I'll be seeking some 
um, other options afterwards. But right now, I'm able to move. I'm putting less stress on it. I'm doing these flexibility things, which are going to keep the flexibility in. and I'm not putting any more impact in an area that's already damaged. Good. Let's take it back a little bit more. Remember we did on the other side? Let's bring it all the way up if we can and extend it. Good. And this is a static stretch. There's no movement. In four, in three, in two, in one. Good. Bring it right here, that toe up in the front. And we're going to sit down and up. Press down and up. Step forward and back. 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 And back, step forward, pushing forward and stretching this leg. The other leg is bent. Watch and extend back up and reach out and back up. Out and up, out and up, out and up, out and back up. Good, take it out and back up, out and back up. Take it out and back up, take it out. And back up four back up three two more here's two one more here's one get ready take it down and hold guys remember we're going to reach out push back and we're going to hold for 30 seconds most stagnant or most stationary stretches we're going to hold for 30 seconds yeah. Excellent. Push back. We have about 10 more seconds coming up. Good. Keep going. Hold. We're almost at five more seconds there. You should feel a bigger release in three, in two, in one. Good. And come back up. So we have one more good round for us. So we're going to take the chair right in here. I'm going to throw my towel on the floor. I'm going to sit right in the front and I need to get these shoulders a little bit more flexible. So I'm going to take myself down and reach down and I'm going to rotate up and back down, rotate up from this position, trying to keep one arm down. You notice I can't really rotate to the shoulder, all the way up to the ceiling because of my limited flexibility in my shoulders. That's why this is so important. And up, down, and open, 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 and bring it back down. And open, 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 and bring it back down. And open now. The more you do it, watch, I'm getting... Just a tiny bit more flexibility in it. Good. As hard as it is, I'm going to try to hold one side up for 30 seconds after we're doing movement. So here's a key, guys. Do a little movement before you hold your stagnant stretches for 30 seconds. Good. And back down. Rotate up. Good. And you should feel a little bit more loose and up. Good. And rotate up. Now, remember, we're going to do both sides holding for 30 seconds before we end this routine and back down. Take it up, bring it back down. Take it all the way up and bring it back down. Take it all the way up and bring it back down. Take it all the way up and bring it back down. Last one. Okay, now let's hold here, rotate up, and I'm going to put my hand on the floor. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Have my timer right in front of me, knuckles or Flat hand and hold. Get those knees together so they don't tilt right side or left. Breathe. Good. We have about five seconds coming up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go to the other side. Uh, I feel I have a little bit more flexibility on this side. And maybe it's because I held the other side. Good. And we got this for 30 seconds. Reach up. Sit back a little bit in the chair. Get yourself up and open up that back. Good. And open up that chest, actually. Good. All the muscles back there are nice and tight. Good. We got 10 seconds. Reach up. Good. Now, if this hurts your shoulders at all, do not do it. I would keep my hands in my lap and rotate from the top of the shoulders. Three, two, one. Good. Bring it back. So I didn't do that precaution. If holding your arm up hurts, sit up and do it like this. Okay. And the other side, 
like this because it hurts to go all the way down. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me in my stretching movement routine. We did some dynamic and active stretches, and then we did some stationary holding those stretches without movement. That's the best way to stay healthy, okay? So thank you so much, and I hope you'll join me again.